For every finished plate, it's important to check the plate relief to make sure it falls in your determined range. In order to provide proper support to the image elements and to avoid printing the floor, we recommend a plate relief between 18 and 25 mils. To measure the relief, lay the plate flat under a calibrated digital micrometer. Measure the thickness of a solid and make sure it's within 0 and .005 mils of the measured raw plate thickness. Zero the micrometer to the solid thickness and then measure the floor to find the difference between the floor and solid heights. This yields the plate relief. The relief should be measured in several spots across the entirety of the plate to confirm plate uniformity. If the relief is out of the desired range, adjust the back exposure accordingly to change the floor height. A longer back exposure will create a smaller relief, while a shorter back exposure will result in a larger relief. After cutting down the fully processed plate sheet into individual plates, examine the QC targets. With a loop, look through the back of the plate at your highlight dots and make sure they are stable. The top of the dot should be centered within the base of the dot and all dots within the field of range should be consistent in size and shape. Look at the mid-tone dots and make sure you are getting the proper cleanout between the dot structures. If you have minimum line text and reverse line text elements on your target, make sure you are holding your typical sizes. If you are not successfully holding the minimum elements and dots you typically do, you may need to increase your main exposure time. If reverses start filling in and you're not getting a proper cleanup, you may be overexposing, or you may need to be checking your processing times as well. If you have a dot analysis tool such as a Betaflex Pro, it's possible to collect numerical data to certify that you are making plates within a determined standard. The Betaflex Pro allows you to capture and analyze dot percentages on the plate. Measure a determined tone scale and record the measurements for each dot percentage that was imaged. Over time, develop an acceptable tolerance of what these dots need to measure to pass an inspection. The Betaflex Pro also allows you to examine the dot structure in 3D. This way, you can determine the likelihood of failure on press for these highlight dots. Finally, a visual inspection should be made for each plate. Look for any kinks, cracks, scratches, or unwanted patterns on the plate surface. Make sure all smart marks for the mounters and press operators are on the plate and be sure that the plates were cleanly cut to the desired size.